All right, welcome back everybody. How are y'all doing? How y'all been? I have been kind of indisposed the last couple of weeks, honestly. Um, I haven't really streamed over here or on Twitch for a minute. Um, I've just been busy with trying to get money. So, you know, picking up extra shifts here and there and things like that. So I've just been busy, right? So, I haven't really been able to put a use to my capture card setup, laptop thing I bought. Um, but I plan to soon, uh, test it out, hopefully this weekend if I can get uh, the assistance I need to make sure everything is properly working and then test it. Um, of course, happy Easter day everybody in case I don't upload by that day. And um, yeah, so today we are doing a blind friendly or like how would I make modes in COD blind friendly or accessible, whatever. Right, so for the basic, you know, first uh, for the bit, stupid phone, my, my phone's going off a lot. Anyway, the, the modes I want to go over are Team Deathmatch and Free For All, because they're the easiest modes to make blind friendly, because they're quite simple. Free For All is you against seven other people. TDM is you and five against another six players, and that's it. Like, it's not that complicated. Now, Free For All itself is much easier to play, right? All you gotta do is aim for the enemies, and you're good. <laughs> Now, Team Deathmatch is harder because you have to know whose enemies and whose friendlies, right? So, here's the tips I'd recommend if you're blind or visually impaired. And then we'll get to the accessibility, I guess, of it later. If you're blind or visually impaired, I would advise if you have friends, of course, you have a t an actual, like, party you're playing with, um, you know, everybody, like, just, just, you know, understand who's using what weaponry. So that way you can better identify who's using what. You can identify, hey, they're using the, I don't know, AK-47. Right? Like my buddy's using the 47 with a suppressor. My buddy's using a RPD with whatever, right? So the idea is, no matter what, you can tell by the character voice and the guns, you can tell who's who. Right? Now, this is e easier said than done. Right? But the, uh, the nice thing is, Friendly teammate footsteps are usually quieter than enemy footsteps. And that means you can, if, if you've got the loud footsteps coming at you, they're probably enemies. So it makes it more convenient to understand who's who. Now, this has been going, the, the quieter teammate steps, louder enemy steps, has been a thing in Call of Duty for a while. Um, just hasn't really been... All that prevalent. The other side of it is that in Cold War specifically, I don't know about the sand details in Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2019 or you know anything else really. Um, but one of the cool details is that here in Cold War you have tracer rounds, right? Because of every gun firing a ballistic instead of a hit scan, you have to have a bit of a tracer um, in case the ballistic is really slow, right? Or the, the velocity. So. The audio team did something really cool where if you are being shot at by an enemy, their gunshots are so much louder and more distinct as far as what direction that you can follow the shots back to the shot or to the shooter. Usually. Um, it's harder, but you can do it. That's the level of detail you're working with here in Cold War. Um, now, as far as the actual accessibility, what could you know devs do to make the modes accessible? Well, to be honest, free fall doesn't need anything. It really doesn't. Um, Team, De Team Deathmatch, the, the thing that would make it accessible, or easier to be accessible, would probably be just make the enemy footsteps extremely noticeable, extremely loud, um, you know, make the enemies more vocal, you know, all these different things, but here's, here's, here's the kicker, that would completely counteract, um, like, game design, right? Unless everybody's running, I was running Ninja Dead Silence. Okay, so... I feel like it'd be hard to have an accessibility thing aside from a base universal accessibility um, in which you'd probably have, I don't know, let's say like a sound indicate, oh, you're aiming at the head or the chest, like different sounds based on where you're aiming. Um, those would be more universal though, so that'd be a universal thing. Now, the... Oh, and auto centric. Excuse me. Um, Auto-centering your aim along the vertical axis would be helpful. So those are the two major things I can think of for COD. As far as like actual, you know, moving around and aiming and all that. Auto-centering your aim. 
um, if it goes off target. And the, you know, am I aiming at the head, the chest? So that way you can actually, um, and then, like, like you might look toward an enemy and they will sound like they're in front of you, but they may not be, right? And uh, we actually had this all the way back in Black Ops 2 in 2012. There was an optic called a target finder that had a clear sound indicator when you were on target. So 11 years ago, we were having optical attachments that gave you sound indications. Just saying. Um, anyway, yeah, so th those are my little tips for TDM Free For All. Um, for the sake of the video, you know, just game plan, whatever else, I'm going to just use a... I think I will use EM2, because I haven't used the EM2 for a minute. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this first little edition of this attempt. Um, next, I'll probably d focus on domination. Um, I, I may I may pair two modes together just for simplicity's sake. So, thanks again for watching. Free for all. Marking waypoint coordinates. Detected. Detected. Spy plane MTL protected. Incoming artillery. 
Artillery targeting detected. Artillery inbound. Move on my waypoint. 